Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you uh, about the new Amazon S3 tables storage optimized for analytical workload. In this we are gonna be doing a hands-on exercise we'll learn how to create a table bucket after doing that we're gonna also learn how to create an EMR uh, cluster on EC2 and then we're gonna uh, launch a PySpark shell and after that we're gonna create an iceberg table insert some data and then see that data in the table buckets so again this is a hands-on exercise so I hope you are uh, excited so let's rock and roll all right, step one, we need to head over to AWS management console over here and you can see table buckets, right? So you want to go ahead and create a table bucket. So you can click on uh, create table bucket, give it a name over here and then click on create table bucket. I have already created a, a sample table buckets uh, prior to the video. So here my table bucket name is going to be demo iceberg table bucket 1995. Now make sure to the copy this ARN. This will be used in the later part. Okay. So step one, go ahead and create a table bucket. All right, so the next step is we need to create an EMR uh, cluster. So I'm gonna be doing that. For this EMR 7.5 and above should work fine. So here I'm gonna give my cluster name as my Spark Iceberg cluster. I'm gonna be choosing the EMR release version to 7.5.0. I'm gonna choose Spark 3.5.2 because that's what I need for the demo. And then I'm going to be choosing one primary node. I'll be using M5 extra large. I'll delete after the video, so not worried about it. Uh, use your default VPC and subnet. I am already uh, you, uh, doing that. And I'm not using any core node because I simply want to show you, right? Now, the important part is in the software settings, uh, this should be your configuration. So the classification should be iceberg defaults. The property, it takes a key called iceberg.enable. Set that to true. After that, uh, simply go ahead and uh, I'm going to create my, uh, you know, EMR cluster. As you can see, my cluster is in the starting state. Once the cluster is ready, I will show you the next steps. All right, guys, my EMR uh, cluster is now in the ready state. So waiting means it's waiting for your commands. So yeah, I have my EMR cluster right now. I'm going to SSH into it. So first I have my PEM file here. So I'm going to make sure I give permission to that. Oops, let me... And now I'm going to SSH into it. SSH minus I, the part to the PEM file, username is going to be Hadoop and the IP address. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. Cool, cool, cool. We have our EMR uh, cluster ready. We are now uh, successfully SSH into it, right? Now we're going to uh, start the PySpark shell and this is the packet that we need to use. Software.amazon.s3 tables colon s3 hyphen tables hyphen catalog hyphen for hyphen iceberg colon 0 0.1.0 so i'm gonna actually copy and start up iceberg shell as you can see again this is running on that emr uh, cluster right so now it's gonna install the dependency and it's gonna start uh, the uh, the spark session the spark shell uh, so that i can execute some commands so i'm simply gonna wait here it could take a couple of minutes again. Looks like now it's almost ready. So I should see uh, this process complete soon. And then I can start executing uh, uh, Python PySpark uh, commands here, okay? All right, as you can see, my <laughs> Spark session is finally ready. Now let's go to the next step. So go to your table buckets. Remember we created a table buckets. Oops, uh, let me come here. We have our table bucket, right? Demo iceberg table bucket 1995. Here you can see the on, right? Copy this on, okay? Once you have the on, right? Now what you wanna do is you wanna paste the on over here. Spark.sql.catalog.s3 table bucket dot warehouse so now the warehouse uh, would be that on over here so i have pasted that now i'm gonna create this spark session okay cool 
and now I will execute the commands. So first I'm going to create a namespace. Uh, uh, first I'm going to create a namespace called example namespace inside the catalog called S3 table bucket. Again, this could be any name, but I'm just going to use this uh, for now. As you can see, cool, lovely. And then I'm going to say, hey, uh, show namespace inside this particular catalog. So I should see example namespace, right? Lovely, fantastic. And now I'm going to say show tables. Again, there are no tables here. So I should see nothing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to now create an iceberg table over here inside that namespace. And lovely, looks good. Now I'm going to insert some data into it. And again, remember, I don't have a core node, uh, right? I just have one primary node, right, for the demo. So looks good. And let's see if we can now query this data. Fantastic, Look, looks good, right? Now, if you go inside this uh, table bucket, here you can see that table uh, table name, uh, table one, right? This is the namespace. And now, of course, AWS will manage compaction, cleaning, and all, all of that uh, thing behind the scenes. So yeah, this is a hands-on exercise. I hope you have enjoyed. I will leave all the uh, commands that I pasted in the description so you can try this out. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.